So basically, we should have a big electrical that you end up seeing on. Big old electrical jizzer that goes off the sun right there. And we will take a knock this down. This is off the Navy. It's black and white shots. And you see right there. That's a big old shock arama. Either that or there's an electrical connection between some planets there. Because that's what we got at that fresh shot there. So bring it back down, zoom back out. And I'll scoot over. And as you see the mass of planets, because that's way bigger than even Jupiter right there. Just about everything you see is like probably ten times the size of Jupiter. So, a massive shock wave goes out between two planets from the sun. Either that or there's planets in line. Now, we have seen a lot on even, you can even go to Worldwide Telescope and you'll see planets that have that twirl to them. Like they're electrically connected out there somewhere. Uh, the sun, does the sun birth them? Does the supergiants that are in like planets like Pataglius just think there's something like 74 times the size of the sun? Now, I might be way off on that, but I know that there is a sun that is 74 times bigger than the sun. Okay, So, very interesting. Great shot from Navy, thanks. And then that's what we got going on on the other camera. Completely the other side of the sun. So, and as you see here, also planets all the way around the sun, all over the place. Tons and massive distances between here. Remember that there too, that's a hell of a huge, even if it's the planets electrically connected together, it's a hell of a huge electrical shock from the sun if that's what it was. Then we go over to the live Japan footage, which basically we have black light, and basically you can see it right underneath the clock. I don't even have to move my cursor, and in fact, if anything, I can get my cursor and go left and get out of the way. But right underneath the clock, you can see that we've got a star tumbling, moving very fast, and it takes up a big area too. And as you see, it's kind of like propagating through the ash or the cloud, fog, overcast, whatever that we do have. We'll be able to tell a little bit better what we do have for overcast or whatever on the next shot. But you do get to see the light propagation underneath the numbers. You can see that star or stars tumbling very fast. Very, very fast. And if you recall, remember that guy that had the telescope that he invented that's very somewhat inexpensive and it works great and it basically is a almost the size of a saw blade laying on the ground and it's mirroring the images up into the sky. I mean, mirroring the images from the sky down onto Earth. Yeah, and we got black light right over top of the volcano. Two black pan planets. Oh, wow. Check that to the right. Just keep watching to the right mid screen, the very right edge. About two inches or inch and a half on your screen in to your left. On your right hand side, an inch and a half in. And oh, wow. Right there in front of the camera now. So basically, it's almost like we're getting plasma blasts. Probably proton, some kind of a natural proton. I can't say laser because it's not a laser, it's not a straight line, but some kind of a electronic, uh, not, and strike the word electronic, but electrical plasma Protons. Plasma is just one of those words that gets thrown around a lot. Of, yeah, it was blood. It's man-made blood. Uh, I think they made it out of pork. I mean, pig's blood and stuff like that. And then some male, I mean, uh, human templates mixed together to 
make plasma. Temporary blood to be able to survive on. So, anyway, so we've just got some wild shots here just by me going here. So, and we do have the three, you can see the triangulation. If you can't see that triangulation of the darker shadowy one to the lower left, which is very large and moving, and then up to the right, the two that are pretty pretty steady, little dots, and they're not pin marks. So, once again, the Hawaii, the Japan, I apologize again, Hawaii, but the Japan volcano webcams are showing us a wild show. And more than likely, she must have farted pretty good this this morning because it should be a.m. there. Sun's going down in the west here, United States, west coast. So basically, sun's coming up over in Japan. So, and wow, there you go. There's some more of that action right there. So I'll sit here for a little bit longer. And you shouldn't have missed that. I mean, it's just wild the way it comes in. And you never see the sun on a camera over here do that on the state side and it sure seems like it makes that volcano go whoosh so basically like I've always said to a lot of people it looks just like a magician throwing sulfur in a bowl or on the floor with the certain compounds making the sulfur react and blammo I mean a volcano blow up and a magician would get a flash so or a wizard I guess right so Anyhow, nothing going on much right now. I mean, this, we do have, and I'll just point to them. They're right here. There's a real tiny speck one right here, too. And then this one moves real fast right there. Okay. And this one here, they probably both move, too. Rotate or something like that. Maybe they stay stagnant, but actual factual. They're right there. You can't miss them. Black light stars. If you look around, there's other little action, too, if you pick it out sometimes. Now, when I first said to the right, I seen action right here. And then we had those bursts that came in here and here. Should show up pretty good on the camera, I believe. So, on the video. So, and once again, you can't miss this one here. This one's moving pretty good right there. Okay, so let's go to the other camera again. Or one of the others. The first camera was 8, and this was 7. Oh. Here's seven in the canal, basically for, uh, I believe it's for uh, runoff in the spring, or ever, whenever the snow thaws. Yeah, so nine is up into the smoke, possibly somewhat some fog since it's early a.m. The smoke in the fog, the smoke off the volcano for darn sure. So, and you got black light there. And the upper left one is moving. Fluctuating quite much. So. Oh yeah, so whoever's doing this, I get I I keep the originals, so don't worry about it. I got you. And that electrical charge I showed you earlier uh, probably really affected the feeds here. As you see, they blanked out. And the protons before, or like I say, that electrical charge probably really messed up the data. But the proton surges are going down. They're still up high, and now they were, they're going down. They're declining. So, still hella dirty out there. The ionosphere. It's getting a real big shake up. And it really changes around, so basically... Chile and I, right after I did the video, Chile had a little bit of action, and then the idea that so down in uh, basically straight up, uh, oh what the heck is it again? Well, down by Australia, the whole area, and then uh, what I was trying to think of the one that's always. 
giving us those real deep ones. I'll get it in a second. It'll come to my mind. Okay. So, and like I say, still Puerto Rico. This is a fresh one. We should see, we should see something bigger on Hawaii tonight, since you see that there. Volcano in the Hawaii, and, and also, I mean, basically the quakes. Should be like a higher magnitude one tonight. And basically, go watch the video that, uh, because basically they've changed the uh, CME. So. I remember you all dots earth. And here's our freshest CME to be wondering about. That one is going to hit us on the 5th. Sure looks like the 5th anyway. 5th and 6th. So. Coral's off pretty good on both the North and the South Pole, so we're going to get some action. Go to the graphs real fast. I'll flop up through the freshest pictures of the sun. You can figure out what planets those are close. More than likely Venus and Mars. And Mercury. It looked like there was two of them, but... And our wind speed is up. Yeah, been about average. Three to four. I always get cost for this, because remember, Space Weather still told us M's. I don't think we'll see more, but it's already done that for what I was predicting. Gulf of California, 4.7. Philippines, 4.9. And Virgin Islands. So, Solomon Islands. And that's what I was pretty much meaning with Solomon Islands and Guam had a 4.7. Honshu, Japan, that's about normal. They're getting the action. Hertz, Nogabinia, 2.4. That's part of that close, somewhat reasonably around the Norwegian stuff that we've been seeing. Low, but weird for it to be there. So, Jamaica, China. Australia, like I said, Solomon Islands, Fiji, that's on this really deep all the time, folks. Norway showing a little while the weird stuff. Australia again, Australia, Papua New Guinea down by Australia. Hawaii is showing it, what, it's, what I figured, maybe we get a little bit of action, these are fresh. Let me blow these up a little bit. That pressure reading pretty much always gives us what we think in a little action in South Dakota. Not just still, folks, so there you go. So they had a heart uh, spark on the 27th, but we see that we, you know, that. Navy shot, we had another one. I'm not saying it was on the far side, I just basically showed you where it was at. And basically, it could be the far side again that did that because I do believe that is. Uh, mm, it's hard to. I, I'd have to research on the, which camera that is. I don't really worry about that too much. We got buoy actually like crazy. So this one at, up in uh, Alaska and down in Samo Samoa. You see they're really going off big, so basically we had something pretty much straight away, boom to boom, more than likely a big earthquake. So the 5.2 in the Solomon Islands, and then another quake more than likely that we don't see registered, but if anything, maybe connected to this 2.3. Here's the one in the Solomon, so I got a feeling we had a quake up there in, in, the, in Alaska, not registered yet. Basically, Solomon is like a meter, so that's three feet. One of the Lucians we'll see here in a second. So in six hours, it did a fast three foot, roughly, because one meter. And definitely, some big spike right there. No matter what, that was three feet real fast. 